okay guys uh, today i'm going to start my first uh, wireshark tutorial so in this video i'm going to show how to analyze packet how to start what are the steps uh, we need to take to analyze this packet what are the first step so the first step is go to static we need to first uh, check protocol hierarchy uh, you need to check uh, internet control message protocol that's mean uh, ping command uh, first we need the first thing we need to ping to uh, victim machine then uh, we can uh, get a reply then we know this victim machine is uh, active or not uh, the second one is uh, the conversation we need to check this conversation you can see what are the IP4, IP6, TCP what are the port numbers the second one third one is uh, endpoints in here you can see what are the ports what are the packet packets bytes in here uh, if an attacker use like a port scan attack then in, this is not a, an attack uh, packet this is a normal uh, packet if attacker use a packet uh, port scan attack they, then in here you can see, you will be able to see lot of packets but the, the packet size and byte size is same then we can uh, think that can be a port scan attack that's the how we can find some attack in next video i'm going to show how to uh, find an attack so but in this video i'm going to show how to analyze this packet and how to uh, find these attacks so next go to files go to export objects we have to check one by one there is no any details the next http there is no any detail uh, imf so there is a detail a message a email an email but i'm not going to now to save it save this uh, email I'm going to show. I'm going to check other things. SMB. There is no any details. Uh, no. Okay. Now I'm going to save this email. Uh, you have to select a folder. I'm going to select this folder. Okay. I'm going to open it. You can see this email. You have to open it. take some time okay so we you have to check this email is a malicious email or not the phishing email or not actually this is not a phishing email or malicious email is a normal email then we don't need to worry about it okay next uh, these are the first steps we need to take it now after that it's up to you then you have to uh, deeply investigate these packet you have to check these info the packet sizes and uh, flags and you can check flags uh, what are the protocols so this is how to analyze a packet and we these are these are the main step we need to take so in this video in next video uh, i'm going to show how to analyze packet and how to uh, find an attacks find an attack and um, it can be a um, many attacks so join us and uh, please subscribe my channel please uh, like and share this video uh, so thank you guys Okay guys, uh, this is my second tutorial in uh, Wireshark tool. So uh, please watch my first tutorial, then you can get a get an idea about Wireshark tool, how to use it. So uh, let's start this investigation. So uh, after investigation this uh, uh, PK file, uh, I found a malicious content. Can you see in here this malicious content? this part this 
wait uh, it's highlighted all thing this his li to string we this one so we need to write it down uh, in a paper then we need to divide into some parts after divide into divided that part we can find the malicious content it says like uh, this message says easily to string will crash your little name server for sure this one ha 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 so this uh, this attack type is like we can assume we can think this can be a dos attack because it's saying will crash your little name server then it can be a dos attack then we need to find what are the source ip and destination ip you can see the source ip and destination ip we need to go to statics go to endpoints then you can see what are the address what are the ports uh, i'm going to select this one and go to apply as a filter selected you can see this a protocol is a udp protocol so source ip is at uh, this 10001 destination ip is a uh, 1468428888 and uh, the time the time duration you can see the start and end time is the same 70 49 and 41 and uh, i already said that uh, the protocol is udp protocol and uh, the number of packets you can see the number of packets is 1 and uh, the uh, the packets is only also the 1 this is a simple uh, dos attack this is how to investigate a pk file using wireshark this is a simple one in next tutorial i'm going to show another attack how to in investigate how to find these kind of attack types so thank you so guys uh, this is my third tutorial in wireshark so please watch my previous tutorials then uh, you can get an idea how to uh, do this kind of this kind of uh, packet analyzing so uh, first uh, we need to find uh, is this uh, packet uh, malware infected or not go to statics then go to endpoints then you can see some uh, ports packets and byte sizes then uh, i'm going to ma make it this port to ascending order so uh, you can see there is some pattern in this uh, 36 to 48 and 50 to 55 there is some uh, pattern uh, you can see in 36 to uh, 48 this uh, number of packet is same 2 and 50 to 55 is 4 and uh, these uh, byte sizes uh, in 36 to uh, 38 the byte size is same these some byte sizes are different but in here 50 to 55 the byte size is 296 196 byte size the same byte size then this attack is a port scan but uh, we need to find uh, what kind of port scan so uh, go to transmission control uh, then go to transmission control then go to flag you can see it sin set that's mean uh, this is a port scan attack using sin attack type method this is a port scan uh, attack using sin attack type method this attacker use in attack type method then guys uh, we need to check what are the uh, source ip and that uh, destination ip now i'm going to select this uh, 36 this port select and uh, go to apply as filter and select it. minimize it this the this is the selected port so this is source ip and destination ip 172 16 16 and 128 This is a 172, 16, 16, and 150. So, guys, uh, in here you can see the that uh, source port and some. Uh, this is a destination port. 
next i am going to show this uh, attack start time and the end time this is the start time this uh, attack 21 43 and 30 you no need to go to uh, again and again this endpoint but uh, i'll show you uh, 36 to 48 is the end endpoint in this this is uh, a uh, first port scan this is the second port scan this is the start in the second port scan start in uh, 50 and in the 55 in the this is the start time in, in uh, first port scan 36 this is the end time in 48 I'm going to give that uh, end time 48. So uh, the same time, the start time, the end time 21, 43, and 30. Next, check, check uh, that second attack port scan 50. So this is the uh, start time 21, 43, 30. Let's check uh, the end end port 55. So the end time is 21, 43 and 31. So guys, uh, this is how to do a simple malware analysis uh, like uh, using Wireshark, uh, using that packet. So uh, I hope this video is uh, good for you and uh, you can do it uh, like your own way. Then you can check some other things like you can check info. Uh, in this packet so please watch my previous videos guys so uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video if you have any question please comment it and uh, so guys uh, thank you hello guys uh, this is my first tutorial in Wireshark so please watch my first tutorial then you can get an idea better idea how to investigate a PK fight so let's start first uh, we need to investigate this pk file then we need to find what what kind of attack and attack type go to stat statics and go to endpoints then you can see in here what are the tcp and udp ports packets and byte sizes uh, go to ethernet you can use name resolution then you can change it to the proper name let's go to TCP uh, change it to port uh, ascending order so you can see the port and packets and byte size in here you can see packet size packets and uh, byte size is same sometimes it's different but in uh, port 1 to uh, in port 1 to 21 same packet and same byte sizes in uh, 23 to 49 uh, same packet and same byte sizes let's see other ports and byte sizes yes you can see same i'm pretty sure this is a port scan attack so uh, then we, we we need to find what kind of attack type so close it and uh, go to internet protocol version go to flags okay in here again you need to go to there is no any evidence go to frame let's see there is no any evidence click this one I'm gonna click this one and uh, go to internet protocol go to flag there is no any evidence let's see transmission control control protocol there is no any evidence let's check uh, different one yes uh, this one is sin set that's mean uh, this is this this a port scan uh, attack using sin attack type method you can see this flag is in set in here this is the sin port scan attack using sin attack type let's check uh, what are the 
let's check uh, source IP and uh, destination IP uh, right click and go to apply as a filter selected good in here you can see the source IP and destination IP source IP is 172.16.08 and 64 13 54 52 this mean uh, this is a destination IP this is a source IP let's check uh, the source port and uh, destination port you can see in here 36050 the source, po uh, source port then destination port is 1 you can see in here also destination port port 1 let's check uh, another port uh, I'm going to check this one 458 five, four, apply has filter selected then go to here you can see source IP and destination IP is same then protocol TCP sin set flag you can see then uh, source port is the same source port is uh, 36050 then destination port is 458 so uh, this is a port scan attack so this is how to investigate this kind of attack so please watch my other tutorial also then you can get better idea how to do a pk file uh, investigation using wireshark so guys uh, thank you very much for watching this watch this uh, video and i hope uh, you can get good idea and please subscribe my channel and uh, please share and comment so thank you guys and bye